So we're out here in the Hobie Outback Kayaks. I am a new Hobie pro staffer with my fellow buddy here, Eric Mahabrik, who's been on the team how long? Oh, I guess uh, four or five years, maybe longer. Who's also a guide. Tell everybody the name of your business. Uh, the name of my company is the Louisiana Kayak Company. And when you book a charter or if you go to the Massey store or anywhere around to demo these Hobies, they have all, all different kinds of models. And what we're in right now is the Hobie Outback, which is the boat that we both have. Yes, uh, they call this one uh, SUV of kayaking. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of a cross between all of them. It can hold 400 pounds uh, plus, uh, but it's rated for 400. It's a it's a great boat for fishing inland, offshore, lakes, uh, rivers. You know, it has a lot of options that you can do to it. And the thing you notice about Hobies, a lot of people don't associate foot pedals with kayaks, but that's one of the things that sets this boat and all the Hobie models apart is you control where you go and how you move by these foot pedals, which makes it a lot easier because your biggest muscle group is your legs. And your legs, you're not using your small muscles and exactly. And you have a paddle in case you get into the shallows, but you're not getting wet like you would with a paddle, and it gives you your arms so you can actually fish. Right, more time more time with your line in the water, more time you're catching fish. Yeah, in addition, uh, it's comfortable. You see these recliner chairs, you don't have to sit up, you have support, lumbar support, yeah. You could be out here all day and be completely comfortable. You can adjust them any way you want, you know. There's all kinds of additions too. We both fish a lot, so you can get these H crates in the back to put your tackle in. You can get rod holders here. Uh, there's a lot of space. You don't really think of a kayak as having a lot of space for things to put things in. The stability is incredible in these things. I mean, you can put anyone from an eight-year-old to an 85-year-old, yeah, if I've, not even younger or older. I've had a guy 350 pounds in one. And he was just fine. And he was just fine all day long. So they've got these side rails. They only weigh about 85 pounds. So me, as a smaller person, I can load mine into my truck, into the truck bed by myself, which opens up an endless possibility of where you can go because, of course, we're only in about a foot and a half of water. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it, 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 and that's the whole thing, you know, especially with the price of bay boats and flat skiffs and gasoline, gasoline mm -hmm. and insurance and maintenance on those things. You know, uh, working folks can save a couple dollars and yeah, it's, it's a top of the line kayak. You're going to, you're going to pay a good amount for it, but you know, it's a one-time purchase. And uh, even if you broke the most expensive thing on this. It would cost less than a boat A hundred dollars, yeah. most probably, is the most you could spend on something repairing it. But uh, I use mine commercially, like she was telling you, and they're, they're bulletproof pretty much, you know? The newer models also have a reverse system, so if you get stuck in a chinas or a narrow area and you can't turn around, all you do is pull the lever and it will reverse your pedals and move you backwards pretty yep. much horizontal, or pretty much the way you came the way in. The way you came in, yeah. You know. There's all kinds of additions too. On the back here, we've got this giant cooler bag. You can put soft coolers on here. Folks that take these offshore really load them up. Down yeah. in Louisiana, a couple of folks the other day were offshore fishing in them, and yeah. they load them up on the boat that gets them offshore. So you can do that if you're really adventuresome, because yeah. obviously we're not like Florida right. where you can just paddle off paddle, to the coast. Paddle off the beach, yeah. I like one thing I like about it is the fact that you can really get into quiet places and small areas that boats can't get. We went on a paddling trip where the birds didn't even move. Right. They don't exactly. even notice. You. So one thing we didn't mention is uh, how to steer yourself. You got the foot pedals for your propulsion, but there's a little lever here, and that's really all it is. So you have one hand that can control it. You can fish with your other hand. You have these two pull tabs here that can pull your rudder up and down. So you can, if you get into a real sticky situation, you yeah. just pull the rudder up. So if something did happen, you'll have two motors. Some of the, uh, a lot of the big offshore boats, they'll, uh, they have two motors. In mm -hmm. case one breaks, you can always get back in on one. So you got the pedals and the paddle, you know, so you can always get around. Yeah, it's kind of your, uh, your reserve safety there. And sometimes you use both when you're pushing off from shore because it's really shallow and you can't get your pedals. Now these foot pedals, they uh, actually release this is how you load them up, push this forward, and this whole system comes out. And that's what the blades look like. So this is how you propel yourself. Uh, pro and it just slides right in, keep it straight, and lock it in. So it's pretty simple. It's very similar to a pen wing wing, is what it was kind of designed off of. They kind of flow through the water like that. So a lot of our audience has expressed curiosity and interest in kayak fishing, simply yeah. for the fact that it's sort of new and it's affordable. So we're going to be doing a lot more fishing, likely coming up in the next few months, maybe a, a catfish trip. Catfish trip, maybe some bass trips. 
I've already caught a few bass in my boat, and uh, we hammered the redfish about a month ago. So yeah, we did. They're pretty easy. I mean, you you have a little bit of a learning curve if you're fishing because you know you're thinking about you're paddling. It's almost like being a drummer in a band where you're thinking about direction this way and direction with your feet. But once you get out in a few times, I mean, it's it's really simple. Second nature. You know. Cruise about three miles an hour. Just yeah, relax a little three. bit. Yeah, bring a, your lunch. Oh, yeah. uh, you know what else he's a good great for is photography. A mm -hmm. lot of people are used to getting into them for photography because it is a hands-free situation. Some people, can, even yeah. the adventuresome, yeah. hunt but, off of them. You yes, go duck even, hunting yeah, off of them. Another hunt. thing uh, we had to mention, you always want this vest. This is a personal flotation device. It's very unobstructive. It doesn't get in the way. It's not heavy, it doesn't make you sweat, but this is a must-have no matter where you are because situations where boats can come by or if you're in cold water, you may not think in a, in a foot and a half of water you need this, but if you were knocked unconscious, this could save your life. A medical problem to take you out for sure. And you know, there's no reason not to have them these Absolutely. days, Martha, because they're from $30 up to $250. So whatever one you need to start with is a great one, you know? But they, 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 the prices are getting lower on them. They're all Coast Guard approved and there's no reason not to wear one. You know, in fact, the kayak uh, community is actually kind of shuns people who don't wear them. Yeah, it's not and something you have to be too, you know, yeah. not you gotta, too cool for. Yeah, you, you're not cool if you don't wear them. Right, so it's not necessarily the best fishing day. The water's pretty dirty, it's a little bit high. But, you know, when you're just getting acclimated to the kayaks, it's good to go out and just paddle around in them and get comfortable in it, and that's kind of what we're doing today. Yeah, also such in a great state of mind also. It's very relaxing. Get you away from the hustle and bustles of the city. No motors, no problems.